Hi, everyone. So I've been kind of thinking. I, I had a chance to look at a few videos um, the last couple of days and try to catch up on what some people are doing. And there were a few videos about, um, you know, being, I guess, addicted to reborns or, or you know, dolls in, in general, I guess, really. Um, I guess it could apply to silicones as well. And what you do, you know, when you don't have enough space or whatever. And, you know, I'm kind of reaching that point. I haven't bought many reborns lately. I've been kind of trying to focus more on silicones. That definitely slows you down in terms of number of dolls you can buy, which is not, in my case is a good thing because I have really too many dolls already. Um, and, of course, that got me thinking about, you know, I mean, you know, the possibility of, you know, scaling back, I guess, myself someday. Um, you know, not going to be this week or whatever. But, um, you know, I started thinking about what I would do or what I plan to do, I guess you could say. Um, because, you know, I have a fair number of dolls, I think, including my three silicones I have now and my small mini babies, which I have three of them, um, you know, I think I maybe have about, you know, 40 dolls, right? And, um, you know, I, in the house I own in Atlanta, those, that would not be a problem. Um, <laughs> I have plenty of space there, but I don't have enough space here in Alaska to accommodate, you know, a whole room, for example, for just babies. And, um, you know, so I have, um, lots of babies in, um, you know, in plastic storage boxes. Everyone has, a, like, their individual plastic storage box, and um, they go in there with a blanket and their lovey and all their stuff or whatever. Um, you know, it keeps them safe and dry and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I can't have all of them out all at one time. And I've recently noticed that I haven't really had much of a desire to change out many of the babies um, that are in storage at the moment. Um, and they're in a closet, um, you know, basically kind of stack their storage boxes on top of each other or whatever. Um, and a few of them are actually stacked next to the crib here. Um, but um, I haven't, I've noticed that I haven't really had a whole lot of interest in changing out the babies who are out with some of the babies who are not out, even though some of the babies who have been out have been out for several months, um, you know, well over six months. In fact, um, most of the ones you're looking at now, in fact, all of the ones you're looking at now, except for little Millie here, who I only got, oh, I think spring of last year. Um, I think all the ones you're looking at now have been out uh, since I got them, um, which in, you know, in Paige's case is coming up on, on two years. Um, actually all, all three of the other dolls are coming up on, you know, in the next few months coming up on two years. Um, and they've never been put in a box, um, nor has Millie been put in a box. She's the newest of the four here. And so I kind of started thinking about, you know, I guess what my favorite dolls would be, which ones I could not live without, if you will. Um, and I'll exclude the silicones from this because they're kind of in a whole different category, I guess you could say. Um, and so I started thinking, you know, if I, if I scaled back to like, you know, 10 reborns, which ones would they be? Or if I scaled back to 12 reborns, which ones would they be? And certainly these four would be among them. Um, and I guess that's all kind of for different reasons. <laughs> um, but the bottom line really in, in at least, well, all of their cases, all, all four of these babies cases anyway, is that, um, I love, I guess the character that these babies portray in their faces, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you have, you know, a baby here who, you know, portrays sort of like, Oh, all the time. And you have little Millie here who, 
is just you know the face of a of a you know cross-eyed preemie how could you resist that and Cooper who always looks excited about everything and very interested in everything and of course little Paige I mean what a mug on this baby huh <laughs> and I've always been drawn to babies I guess more like this than like um, some of the angelic looking ones you know um, I would have to say and I'll probably do um, a, ver a you know a part two of this video where I show some of the other ones that maybe would be in that you know top let's say dozen or whatever um, and really you know without exception pretty much they're all going to be babies who maybe don't necessarily look so uh, perfect and angelic you know for example the the Linus kit um, baby Bristol that I have that I bought myself for Christmas I see that baby's face is sort of like angelic you know sleeping angel right well these babies here aren't that right <laughs> um, I guess I've always been more drawn to the ones who I don't know have got something going on you know they're looking at something in with some kind of expression I guess I've always been drawn to that and um, that's certainly why I adore all of these in fact I would say that like Cooper for example of all the boy babies I've ever owned including my silicone um, he is by far my favorite boy sculpt actually even a boy sculpt that I don't even own I can't think of one I'd rather have than this one I just get such such a kick out of him you know and Millie is probably you know my favorite you know preemie sculpt that I've ever had you know I mean <laughs> she just <laughs> you know she just looks so you know preemie I mean really so um anyway you know those are just a few thoughts I guess you could say to start out the discussion um you know I, I, I start really me thinking about you know what would I do if I scaled back and how would I decide you know because you know I bought all of these babies at the time I bought them for a reason I mean I didn't buy babies I didn't want <laughs> right I mean no one does that and I don't have any reason to dislike any of them now um, but there are certain ones that I find myself I guess um, never quite able to put in put away ever and um, you know assuming that those would probably be among your favorites um, those are the ones I'll video over the next day or two and um, you know I'll kind of go from there I guess in my thought process about this all right well have a good evening bye bye